The Johnson County Museum is looking back at the turbulent 1920s. KMBC 9's Rob Hughes is focusing on the exhibit in Overland Park. But the Johnson County Museum in an exhibit called the Turbulent 20s. And specifically, we're talking about World War I. I'm going to bring in Andrew Gustus in again with the museum. And you want to talk about a very prominent Kansas City, and he was a World War I veteran. There's actually an artifact here on display. But first, tell us about his life. Sure. Uh, so Frank L. Hageman, uh, after World War I, went on to serve as a legislator for Johnson County, was elected as a lieutenant governor of Kansas, and then for a short period of time served as the governor of Kansas. And I want to talk about his World War I service and the artifact you have right next to you here on display. Tell us about it. Yeah, absolutely. It's a World War I identification disc. Um, every American soldier had it around their neck. Um, it was lost in France when he was stationed somewhere. They called the Mud Camp um, in Glanville, France. And uh, he, was, he was stationed there from March through June of 1918. It was discovered just about a century later, 100 years later, almost exactly, um, by a person with a metal detector in France. Did a Google search, found uh, the Johnson County Museum has a lot of artifacts and documents related to Frank Hageman, and they contacted us and ultimately donated it to us. And it's very special we have it here to learn about and, and to read about. And also, you have the Purple Heart and a pipe that belonged to him in this exhibit. Tell us about that. Yeah, so uh, shortly after he lost his tag, uh, he was injured in the Second Battle of the Marne, where he earned his Purple Heart. And uh, in most of the images of him as legislator and governor, he had that pipe in his hand. Uh, that was sort of his uh, key piece, right? So uh, really interesting and important pieces from his life. Absolutely. And you got to come and you got to see it. And, and you got to learn about it in person as well. But it's very, very special. Thank you, Andrew, so much. And we have a lot more to talk about this incredible exhibit. So stick with us. That's coming up next. My Facebook faces a seven-figure fine for the way it targets people with ads. 